Welcome math students. In this video I'm going to show you a cool way to multiply. And it's different than the traditional way of multiplying where you would just line up the numbers. Um, would I consider this the best way to multiply? Not really. I think lining up the numbers is, is the best way. But this is a cool way and for those that are struggling with uh, you know, just the process of multiplying or just people that want to see a cooler way of multiplying, this is for you. So here's what I have drawn. I've, I'm multiplying 23 times 18. And so I'm multiplying a two-digit number times another two-digit two number. So I'm going to just make a box that has two boxes inside, two at the top and two at the bottom. So here's how I would set up uh, this problem. Uh, I'll put the 23, 2, 3. Um, so I'll put one number at the top and I'll put another number on the side. So the 18 would be right here. Now what I'm going to now do is get my box ready to actually multiply. So watch what I draw. I'm just going to draw a bunch of diagonal lines. So notice it looks like I'm kind of connecting all the corners here. Kind of looks like that. Kind of looks cool. So okay now I'm ready to multiply and what I'm basically going to do is multiply a number at the top times a number here on the side. So if you can just watch and I'll show you how I get everything filled in. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to multiply this 2 times this 1. So 2 times 1 is 2 and where I put my answer is where the two numbers would meet. So 2 comes down, the 1 would come across, so I'm going to put my answer right here. Now you'll notice I got two triangles. So if I only have a one digit number I would put a 0 in the first triangle and the the number in the second triangle. So again, 2 times 1 is 2, so my answer is 0, 2. So it would be the same thing now for this 3 and times 1. 3 times 1, and my answer will go right in these two triangles. So 3 times 1 is 3, so I'll put a 0 and a 3 there. Kind of like years, you know, when you write 2003, it would be 0, 3. So. Okay, now I'm going to go down to the bottom. So now, in this lower left, I'm going to multiply 2 times 8, and my answer will go in these two triangles. So 2 times 8 is 16, so I put a 1 and a 6. And then I'll come down here for the lower right, is going to be 3 times 8, which is 24. So 2 goes here, and 4 goes there. Now the reason, again, for the diagonal lines is now I'm ready to add, like you would when you uh, multiply the traditional way. So now I'm going to add now diagonally in all the columns. So watch what I do. Uh, there's nothing here to add to this 4, so it's just I'm just going to copy that 4. Now watch in this column I have a 3, a 2, and a 6. So 3 plus 2 is 5, 5 plus 6 is 11. So just like in regular adding, I'm going to put one number down and carry that one up here. So that 11, again, notice what I did. I put the 1 down and I carried this one up here. So now I'll go 1 plus 0 is 1, plus 2 is 3, plus 1 is 4. And there's a 0 here, so I don't need to bother putting a 0 there. So the answer is 414. And I just have my calculator here just ready to show you. So 23 times 18 is 414. So it's a cool way to multiply. No, I wouldn't suggest multiplying it this way every time because you can see it takes up a lot of space. It is going to be a little time consuming, but it is a neat way to show um, students a different way that they can multiply. Hope you enjoyed it. Bye.